Barcelona gets millions of travelers each year and is one of the most popular destinations in Europe with good reason. If Barcelona is on your vacation list, you're probably wondering where you should stay. Rather than listing individual hotels, we're focusing on key neighborhoods in Barcelona because picking the right neighborhood is just as important as picking the right hotel. There's no touristy places, just bad travelers. And Barcelona is going to be crowded no matter when you visit. It gets millions of visitors each year. About a thousand cruise ships stop here every single year. It's also the pickpocket capital of the world. But it's a place where your travel dreams can come true. And I'm going to show you that by the end of the day. Barcelona is in the region of Catalonia in the southeast coast of Spain. Most international and domestic flights will arrive into El Prat Airport located only eight miles southwest of the city. That means getting into the city center is pretty quick and painless. The best value for money is to take one of the inner city aero buses, which typically run every 10 to 15 minutes from each terminal, costing six euro 75 cents, and stop at major landmarks like Plaza Catalunya and Plaza España. The other best option is to take a taxi or use a ride-sharing app. Since the airport is so close, it should only take about 30 minutes to get to your accommodation, with typical fares being around 40 euros. If you're already in Europe or Spain, you may be taking the train into Barcelona. Most trains will be arriving into the main station called Barcelona Sands, and from there, you're connected to the rest of the city by metro or taxi. Barcelona is a massive metropolitan city, but there are plenty of ways of getting around. You can, of course, use ride-sharing services like Freenow and Uber. There's plenty of taxis and buses that you can use. But in my opinion, the most efficient way is to use the metro. The city is well connected through this efficient metro system. Each line is color coordinated and there are plenty of ticket options. You can, of course, use a single ticket, but there's so much more value in getting a multi-ticket pass, which is a pass for 10 tickets. If you're here for several days, you can even get a multi-day pass as well. Barcelona is a major metropolitan city with almost 6 million inhabitants, so it's best to approach where to stay by neighborhood. From Plaza Catalunya, running down the length of the old city, is the famous bustling pedestrian tree-lined street known as Las Ramblas, which runs all the way down to the Columbus Monument. On one side, you have Barigotic, which is the oldest neighborhood in Barcelona. Adjacent to Barigotic is the El Born neighborhood, which is home to the Picasso Museum and many of the top cocktail bars in the world. On the other side of Las Ramblas, you have the edgy and hip El Raval neighborhood that has great food and a cocktail scene, but be careful there at night. At the bottom of the city, you have Barceloneta Beach, that stretches all the way to the Olympic Village. On top, you have the beautifully symmetric Eschampla neighborhood, which is where you'll see mega monuments like the Basilica of La Sagrada Familia and the architectural masterpieces of Antonio Gaudi. We created the perfect room plan to get you from A to Z. Check out the blog for great information on maximizing your time and increasing your fun. Before we start our day, hook me up with a like and subscribe so we can keep bringing you great content. I'm in the epicenter of Barcelona here in Plaza Catalunya, and right away I'm reminded of how independent and proud the Catalunian people are. This monument is dedicated to an independence movement from 1931, and it's designed by a local artist. This plaza is the beginning of Las Ramblas walk. So grand thoroughfares come out of this plaza, and the main one being Las Ramblas, which is one of the greatest pedestrian zones in all of Europe. Plaza Catalunya is the central square of Barcelona and there are plenty of business class and luxury hotels nearby. Nearby is the Michelin rated Ola Hotel. The grand view of the Body Gothic and the long narrow pool make it an irresistible destination for an afternoon cocktail or a day of lounging. Man, this is warming my soul. You got the sunshine, you got the breeze. I'm about to order a drink, but look at these views. You have straight on shot to the Barcelona Cathedral. You can see straight to the Mediterranean Sea. You can see the cable cars and then over there is Montjuic, which is the, the mountain here. I recommend staying near Plaza Catalunya because it's ideal for business class hotels, centrally located, and access to sites and shopping. Of course, Barcelona is full of amazing history, culture, and food, but there's also many beaches since the city is right on the water. And this is the most well-known beach, Barceloneta, which is one kilometer of beach. You can come here, hang out, go to a restaurant, or just have a lovely beach day.
It's hard to believe that before 1992, this was an industrial wasteland. To prepare for the Olympic Games and to kick off tourism here in the city, a massive redevelopment project changed the face of the city. Today, this is an iconic area with incredible beaches, and during the day, you're gonna find a lot of people walking or cycling or working out, and at nighttime, this is the epicenter of nightlife, and the Olympic Village for the 1992 Olympic Games still remains today. If you're hiring a bike here in Barcelona, you wanna make sure that you follow a couple of different tips. Number one, you have to stay on the bike lane. Number two, you can't take your phone out, so make sure your phone is in your pocket or in your backpack. Keep two hands on the handlebars and no earbuds allowed. Fine's really heavy and I don't want you to get in trouble. I recommend staying near Barceloneta and the Olympic Village because it's ideal for that Mediterranean beach holiday vibe, brand name hotels, and nightlife. No visit to Barcelona is complete without exploring the works of Catalonia's favorite son, Antony Gaudi, who was part of the Catalan modernist movement. His architectural style is characterized by organic forms, intricate details, and a fusion of Gothic and Art Nouveau elements, resulting in fantastical structures that are now admired worldwide. The Achampla neighborhood is home to the modernist architecture in Barcelona. The must-sees are Casa Batlo and La Pedrera, and then the incredible masterpiece of La Sagrada Familia. Just outside of the neighborhood is Park Guel. Barcelona has an amazing selection of rooftop bars, and each neighborhood neighborhood has lots of different options. Be sure to book well in advance because hotels like this one give priority to their guests first, so you want to get your reservations in so you can have views just like this. The terrace of the Cercotel Rosellon in the Echample neighborhood has one of the best unobstructed views of La Sagrada Familia and 360 degree views of the whole city. Echampla is filled with grand, tree-lined boulevards. Passage de Gracia dominates the neighborhood with its 50-yard wide street filled with international luxury brands. Rambla de Catalunya runs parallel to Passage de Gracia. Barcelona is full of beautiful tree-lined pedestrian streets like this one. It's called Rambla de Catalunya and it's nearby Casa Batlo and La Pedrera. If you take this all the way down, you'll run into Plaza Catalunya and La Rambla. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna make it that far because I hear that there are some pretty good places to eat right on the street. I recommend staying in the Echampla neighborhood because it's ideal for high-end hotels and shopping, beautiful tree-lined streets and restaurants, and proximity to modernist sites and mega monuments like La Sagrada Familia. Barri Gothic, or the Gothic Quarter, is the birthplace of Barcelona with a bevy of historic highlights that include a royal palace, a Gothic cathedral, and Roman ruins, all within the labyrinth of narrow lanes with connecting plazas. Give me all the secrets, man. Give me all the secrets. That's that's exactly why we have you here. If we could travel back in time yeah. to the first century before mm -hmm. Christ, we wouldn't be in Barcelona, we would be in Barcino. Yeah? Okay. That's the Roman name for Barcelona. Just off one of the main roads from Las Ramblas is this main square of Barri Gothic, Plaza San Jaume, which is named after the 13th century king who freed Barcelona from the French. Now this is a very proud and distinctive place for the Barcelona people because on one side you have a Catalonian government building and on the other side you have Barcelona City Hall. During Franco times the Catalonian language was actually outlawed and once Franco passed away the Catalonian people came here to celebrate the return of their culture. This, this used to be the Roman Forum. Yes. Oh see I did not know that. This used to be the Roman Forum and it's still the political life of Barcelona. Isn't that cool? Love that. This is the central cathedral of the city, right? Yeah, the only cathedral we have. It's not La Sagrada Familia. La Sagrada okay. Familia is the most famous one, okay. but this is the cathedral. How old is this facade then? This is from the late 1800s. Oh, okay, so it's neo-Gothic then. Yeah, that's neo-Gothic, but the real cathedral was Gothic style. Okay. Nearby Barri Gothic is the uber-hip neighborhood known as El Born. The narrow lanes of this area is home to the Picasso Museum and several top-ranked cocktail bars in the world. This trendy neighborhood fires on all cylinders because it has sites, good restaurants, and top cocktail bars. I recommend staying in Barri Gothic and El Born because it's ideal for that old-world European charm, proximity to Las Ramblas and the Picasso Museum, top cocktail bars in the world are in El Born, and you'll have lots of choices for boutique hotels. Don't forget to check out our website for a full detailed listing of specific hotels we recommend in Barcelona. I'm Angel Castellanos with The Tour Guy. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and ring that bell so you can find our next video. 
Merci, bon provi, and vamos Barça!